What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to duplicate your programs so you can alter them for whatever kind of effects you want, all right? So in this example, I'm going to show you how to basically take a sample and separate the bass from the treble or mid-range, all right? Uh, this is a trick that they used back in the uh, early 90s to make bass lines and stuff like that. So, so I got a sample here. Let me cut, let me cut my cans down real quick. We got, a, we got this sample here. All right, so... Let's say I want to make this the, I want to add an effect to it. Let's add something light. I don't want to add something too heavy. Let me see what effect would work nice. All right, we'll try. We're going to try this. All right, so we got an EQ. And this is what the EQ looks like. So the only thing I'm going to use on here is the filter. I'm going to use the low pass filter. Actually, no. Forget it. I'm going to use the high pass filter. Now, if I just try to go to track two, and on this same program for the, let me just show you real quick, because this is, uh, let me just make this smaller, quick, all right, so, let me delete this one, this one is an older one, delete, okay. So this is the program I'm using. It's called For the Love of You. And I just took the, the bass out. But if I go to track two, if I try to take the highs out, it messes up the, the original program. So this is why you have to copy the program to another track, so to speak. So... Let me go back to track one. Let me just see something real quick. Track two. Sorry. So we're on track one. This is what we're working with. And now I have the high I have a high pass filter on. Now what we're gonna do is come over here to where our programs are in our project file. I'm gonna right click and hit duplicate to new track. And what it's gonna do is gonna put it on a whole new track, track three, and it's gonna be called For the Love of You One. It's just a, how you say, they rename it for you just so, you know. So now if I come here, I can use the low pass filter. Yeah, my computer's gonna start acting up now. So, and you could you could alter it. You could you can make this a little bit, take out more of the highs. Yeah, sorry, my computer's acting up. It's trying to run too much stuff with the video editing, video recording program, too. It's just, it's not hanging. Uh, let's see if I do this real quick. Maybe it'll work. Yeah, let's 
let's raise this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So now we have track three where we can play the bass line now. Let me go back to track one. I could actually, what I could do, if I want to cheat, highlight everything, copy, go to track one, let's rewind, this, rewind all the way back, hit control V. So now with this, enables you to do you could process the highs however you want you can add a little bit of eq from the mid-range and the high range and and you know do more with that and then you can go to track three and add effects that would apply to more bass you know whatever bass plugins you have you know to enhance the bass use those uh, <clears throat> excuse me you can use those to enhance your bass lines okay but yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to come over here. Just make sure you hit right click. Duplicate the new track. It'll copy that program to a new track. And you can alter it. Let's say you want to take out the highs like I did. Make a bass. Uh, turn the sample to a bass and use that as your bass line. You know, that's the old school 90s trick. So, all right. So, I, this is for my man Gary. Let me get it right. This is for my man Gary Smith. Who had the question, how do you duplicate programs only on software from one track to another? Okay. I hope that answers your question, Gary. I'm pretty sure if you had that question, somebody else had that question too. So if you can, share this video with them. And yeah, that's all I got for you. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you want to see any other kind of videos, drop those in the comments. And if it's your first time. Make sure you go down below and grab my free drum kit. Uh, yeah, just grab it. It's a, it's a dope kit uh, for boom bap, you know, producers. Also, if you've been here before, make sure you check out the Loop Cloud link below and the Loop Masters link below if you need some high quality drums for your for your productions and something. Uh, beats start from the source. So if you have a good sound source from the beginning uh it'll make the mixing process a lot better so that's why i use loop masters because their sounds are uh pretty top notch from what i've from my from what i've downloaded so far so all right so check out the loop masters link check out the loop cloud link if it's your first time here check out the uh free drum kit and uh if you need anything from amazon check out my links below it's all everything that i use in my studio uh, from my NPC, computer, audio interface, microphone, keyboards, and everything. So, all right. This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. This is how to duplicate a program in your NPC software. And I'm out. Peace.